This is the Corner Creator tool, which is a tool that was originally designed to just make the corners of things like bag flaps, bag bases, or cushion covers rounder. I don't know about you, but previously when I've been trying to round off anything, I've been through the pantry, I've been pulling out anything from an egg cup to a dinner plate to try and find something circular of the right size for my project. So this tool has been developed to help you do that with four different sizes all on one tool. Now this is how it's going to come to you. So it'll be shrink wrapped and there are three little elements inside here as well that I don't want you to lose. Um, and there is a white plastic covering on them as well. So you need to peel that off. So that is how it's going to arrive to you. These are the three little discs that are inside there. So those will increase seam allowance. I'll show you that how, how that works in just a second. And when you take all of the wrapping off, this is what you've actually got as your corner creator. Um, and these are the little discs that come with it. So I'll explain those in just a second. So you've got your one inch, two inch, three inch, and four inch quarter circles on here. So if I wanted to round off the corner of my project, no matter what it is, by two inches, but well, sorry, with a two inch circle template, I take the two inch mark on here, line the dashed lines up with the right angle of the fabric and draw around this. As this is an acrylic template, if you wanted to put that onto your cutting mat, and use your rotary cutter with this, then that's absolutely fine. Otherwise, you're just going to cut around um, the mark that you've drawn. So if I just take my rotary cutter, there's my two inch mark, and then just cut around that. And then I've got that perfect two inch circle. Same with the four inches. So let's go to the largest one here. So this may be a larger project, like the, the corner of a cushion cover maybe. So line that up with the edges, take your rotary cutter or draw around it and use scissors. And there is your, whoops, four inch circle. So I don't normally stand up to do that. So that's the four inch curve. And the same with the one inch and the same with the three inch. Now, if your project calls for a three and a half inch circle. So for instance, if I have, let's, Let's cut this out. So if I have a width of fabric, which is say seven inches, i just turn that over so I'm on my inches side of my mat. So this could be a bag flap. Let's just trim that end so that it's straight here. And my fabric is seven inches wide. and I want to curve the whole of the top and I can't find a seven inch wide template and with my corner creator I've got two three one and four inches I don't have three and a half which would be half of my flap so what I'm going to do here is to fold this in half and just crease the center open this up and then use the three inch quarter circle but then we have these little seam allowance discs. So I'm going to pop that. This is a quarter of an inch from the center to the edge. So I'm going to be adding a half inch all the way around. So let's line that up with the edge of my dashed line here. And then I can draw my line a quarter of an inch away from the template. So this will give me a seven inch circle. So now I can fold this in half and cut around the line. And that would in effect be the same as having a seven inch circle template. So I didn't put that too neatly, but you get the idea. That's what that's for. Now I'll show you on a white piece of paper. I'm not sure how well this is going to stand out, to be honest, so it doesn't, does it? Let's see if I can create a little bit of shadow there. Because there are other things you can do with this as well. So if I fold my fabric in half, my paper, sorry, and then 
I'm lining up the dashed line, this is a four inch dashed line, against the bottom corner with a fold down here. I can then just find some paper scissors, cut out an eight inch semicircle. And on a similar vein, if I am to fold my fabric, my paper pattern in half, and then in half again, so I've got the double fold here, and let's go for three inches for this one. So I'm putting the dashed line of the template against the three inch, uh, the three inch mark against the fold of the fabric, and then cut this out. Then I have a perfect six inch circle, or I have a perfect six inch aperture. So that's great for your card making as well. With just the smaller piece, um, sorry, just the corner piece, if I pop that just onto the corner of my fabric there, then this shape, is ideal for the centre of things like um, a Dresden plate. I've recently made a cushion cover just using a quarter of a Dresden plate with all of the shapes coming out here. And that is that perfect quarter of a circle to go over the centrepiece to that. But if I wanted that circle to be instead of three inches, maybe three and a half inches, let's go for this small one. Pop that on here, take this. And there's my quarter of an inch. That's also a really good way of adding a quarter of an inch seam allowance to acrylic templates that you've already got. So if you have um, a hexagon shape or, um, I don't know, 60 degree diamonds, whatever the shape of your acrylic template is, a lot of the time with those templates, they will have a quarter of an inch seam allowance marked on them. But if you wanted to make that template bigger, um, so for instance, if you have a, a two inch hexagon that has included in it the quarter of an inch seam allowance in your English paper piecing, but you want the finish size to be two inches, then you can add that extra quarter of an inch seam allowance by using the smaller disc. The larger one, haven't seen these before, to be honest, that just means that if you have, I mean, the largest size on here is four inches, but if I want to make that five inches, then I can use this large disc. So there is my four inch quarter circle, but by using the little seam guide, I can add that extra inch to it. Now, if you're going to use this with um, shapes like a, a diamond, the points will be rounded as you go around the curve at the top. So you're not going to get an exact point. But if that's a seam allowance, then that's absolutely fine. That works really well. So let's just put it into practice on a bag flap, which again, this is initially what it's been designed to do. So that's the flap that goes over my bag. My pattern is asking me to use a what should we say, a four inch circle template to round the corners. Now you can go through your pantry, you can go through your ribbon spools, you can find something that is maybe, is that four inches? No, it's a bit of a random size. It's, it's three in, uh, two and three quarter inches. It's not quite big enough. So if you've been having those kind of issues, then you take your corner creator. If you need a, a four inch circle, that would be your two inch quarter circle and pop that over the corner, line up the dashed lines with the edge of your fabric and draw around there and cut it or again use your rotary cutter and just curve it like so. And then you can either do the same on this side or flip that over and use it as a template to curve this corner. But let's do it again here. So just lined up with the edge of my fabric, rotary cutter cut round in a nice circle. If I just want a little curve, so this could be a cushion cover, and I don't want an exact square, I just, I just want a little curve, then what about going for the one inch? And again, either with your rotary cutter or draw and then cut, you just get that simple, so I'm just going to stand up and do that, 
that simple little curve, but it's accurate and it's perfect. And it's easy to do and it works. So I hope you're going to find this really useful. I'm sure you will do. Um, not just for curving things like this, but you can do convex if you wanted to as well. Um, so for instance, let's get my dark fabric back so you can see again. If for whatever reason you wanted to make a convex curve, whoops, got my thread out of there, then we can line up the dashed line against the corner and again either draw or cut with the roach cutter. So you can use this side or you can use a quarter circle on that side. So as you can see it's, it's a very versatile um, tool even though there's only the four sizes on here you can increase them using those seam allowance discs as well and no more rummaging through your pantry trying to find an egg cup, a saucer, a mug, a bowl or a plate for the exact size that you want to curve your corners.